From the opening set, the proud PNG Cloud ran with intent to get over the Ed line and generate some rock speed in yardage. Halves Jamie Mavoko and Sakius Kamati kicked to the corners and were well supported with a strong kick chase. Backing up their efforts with the ball, the Hunters' line speed was strong in defense to force an early error from the home side. The Seagulls held firm on this occasion but struggled to work out of their own end due to the Hunters' aggression without the ball. Gifted chip field position saw Winner Manley saw right center DeLuis Hoyter offloading effort in yardage that ended with Hoyter himself scoring in the corner. The home side scored the next three tries as they enjoyed a mountain of possession and a taking territory. Starved of the ball, the Hunters could do little to stop Wynnum's momentum as Kyle Foxwell, Matthew Milson and Tyson Smoothie capitalized on their momentum to take a 22 points lead into the break. The Hunters' comeback started with a huge defensive play from prop junior Rob. Rob got a foot on the Seagulls' grubber kick and chased down the loose ball to win possession for his team. In the ensuing play, Sakyas Kumati produced the goods on this occasion, rolling a clever grubber into the in goal despite some considerable defensive pressure for Matthew Jesse to score on the left edge. Next, Judah Rimbu's pass to Roth created a one on one situation beside the rock, and Roth produced the offload assist for Sonny Wabo to score. Wabo was in for his second just a few sets later, relishing his Ben's impact role. Running it on the last, the ball went through Wabo's hands to Komati on the edge, where his signature show and go made a mockery of the Seagulls' defense. Wabo backed his 5 8 up on the inside to reduce Winner Manley's lead to 12 points. The impact of Wabo and Rob around the rock continued to pay dividends for the Hunters as fatigue levels rose. The Hunters this time shifted it down to the right tram line on tackle 5 for Roderick Ty to finish a beautiful team try in the corner. PNG with all the momentum were denied a comeback by the game clock. Winner mainly limped their way to a 20-24 win but it was the Hunters who finished with a moral victory. It's a lesson for the Hunters as they look ahead for a four-game stretch at the Santos National Football Stadium starting next Saturday, 27th May, with the Northern Pride in Round 11.